everybody out there on Facebook. It's Kelly Ellis Hyphenil. It's her main. And we are here to talk about a very important subject. It is the children of Frederick County going hungry. Oh my goodness, yes. And it's I want you to share this with everybody watching today. And I'm just gonna put it out there. If we get two thousand shares and two thousand likes, I will make sure that one child next year in the, the, the school year of two thousand eighteen is fed um after school. Oh how wonderful. Well actually fed every weekend for the entire school year. I will do that. Okay. I will make sure. That Absolutely sounds wonderful. So tell us a little bit um about everything that's going on. Well uh there are over eleven thousand children in Frederick County who depend upon school meals as their primary source of nutrition uh, Monday to Friday and uh, blessings in a backpack Frederick feeds children every weekend right now we're feeding 1700 children in 13 local schools and what we do is we send them home on the weekends with food uh, breakfast lunch dessert and snacks for every day they are not in school so spring break winter break Blizzard bags for snowstorms awesome. every weekend, long weekends. We make sure that they have non-perishable, kid-friendly, easy prep food um, for the weekends. And we're all volunteers. I mean, all we, vol it's we're all saying, volunteers. It's non-profit, volunteer-based only. Right, it's right. amazing. There are over 90 volunteers here in Frederick that pack bags and distribute every single week of the school year. Now, if somebody wanted to volunteer and help you guys out, who would they get a hold of? How would it happen? Well, they can, they can certainly find us on Facebook at uh, Blessings in a Backpack Frederick. You can go to our website, which is B-I-A-B, -B, for Blessings in a Backpack, B-I-A-B, FrederickMaryland.org. Um, that's the best way. And message me or, you know, Perhaps you might know somebody at one of our 13 schools. That's okay. another possibility. Wonderful. And um, above this, this, um, this live feed, I made sure that we put in the website for you guys to get a hold of um, anybody that you need to get a hold of, whether you want to do a monetary donation, whether you want to do a food um, donation. I know you guys have a specific we list. We have a very specific list, but I have to tell you also, yes. do you know it costs only $100 to feed an individual child for an entire school year? $100 donation will feed a child for, for the whole for school year. For the whole year. school year, for the whole 38-week school year. I that mean, is, it's just... Is that you crazy, guys? Your local yeah. Stuff, you know? Wait, you know what? I mean, think of every day we go to we go and get our coffee That's in the morning. Right. Our five to seven dollar coffee That's in the right. morning. And it we cost three dollars to feed a child for one weekend. I That's mean, it's, it's really, I think about that every time I buy my coffee. Every time, you're like, $3. $3. I could feed a kid for this, you know. That's wild. That's wild. And it's it's local to your community. Oh, my goodness. You're it's, helping it's, your it's community. Only children here in Frederick. 100% of the money that we raise is used to feed our local kids. And as of right now, we're feeding 1,700. Come September, we'll be feeding over 2,000 children. And the thing is, though, that we have a waiting list. We have a waiting list of over 300 children at our existing schools, wow. and we have three schools that want to come on board. So right now, you're being held back by what? What is holding you back from those three? Money, money, honey. Money, money honey. It's because, money. Because, you know, our marketing strategy is very simple. The more money we raise, the more children we can feed. It's that I mean, simple. It's, it's that simple. And you said every dollar goes back to the children. I talked about it, yes. right? And every dollar is used to feed our local Frederick kids, and, and that is... I mean that's really pretty extraordinary. It is, and it's and it's all volunteers. It's all volunteers in the local in the local school community. So at Waverly, people from that community are helping to pack 450 bags uh, every week. Whereas at Parkway, the local community is packing 40 bags because every school has a different need. And we talked about that, and I just want to talk about it because a lot of people I think are scared. Um, because you said, well, Kelly, this is public knowledge. Oh, yes, yes. The, the data is public. If you go on to uh, your local school website, you can see how many children are in the school, what percentage, like at, at um, I was just you know, meeting with the folks at Tuscarora. Well, they have over 40% of their kids 
are on free and reduced meals. And those are the children we feed, the children who qualify under the federal free and reduced meal program. And it's anonymous. I mean, oh, it's yes. not oh, like, it's strictly I mean, it literally is strictly confidential. Absolutely. They pack everything up for before the weekend. It goes to the school. Anybody that is, is, is free only or reduced. Des only designated people in the school know who the children are. So it's and confidential. So, right, exactly. So we get a number. You know, at Orchard Grove Elementary School, we go in on Tuesday morning uh, to pack the bags, and the uh, school secretary will say, well, it's 230 this week, or it's 227, or it's wow. 235. But there's no name assassination. No, there's no. no. So, and, and the one thing we, you and I talked about, and I think this is something that could be uh, the next step or the next big thing, is you don't even know in the summertime oh who goodness. the children are that aren't eating and that's all all summer long. That's right. And and that is that is the biggest drawback. That's the thing that keeps me up at night because these children, uh, there are some programs out there. There are uh, programs in the parks. There are some programs if the kids can get to them right. through the school if system. They, they have that, a that, way to get there. That, that's right. There are free lunch programs. But, you know, sure would love to be able to figure out a way that, you know, in June or whatever. I mean, can we send them with food for the summer? I don't know. I, I don't know. But there's what the another level. Is. There's yes, another, another level. level to that. Yes. But exactly. right now we're trying to we're, we're trying to add three more schools in for right. next year. Right. And yeah. three hundred kids. And three hundred more kids. Three hundred more, more kids. That's you know three hundred three hundred kids is thirty thousand dollars. It's really not that much money when if you, we, when if you we, think about it. If we break it down. That's right. If you break it down, you it's $100 it down. a kid. If everybody chooses to support one child. One child. Think about that. That's incredible. I know. And if you, you don't know till you know. And talking to you, I've learned so I much. I didn't know. I, you didn't know. No, I, didn't, I didn't. Three know and a half years ago, I had no idea until I read an article in People magazine that Blessings in a Backpack had just won the Charity of the Year Award. Gotcha. And I said, oh, well, let me see if there's a problem. Oh in, in our community, right? right? Oh, not You're like, it can't song. happen where, where we are. That's and right. that's what I said to you. I'm like, I was just surprised that there was so much um, in our area that's alone, right. let alone everywhere you else. Know. And if you're not in this area, I'm just going to say there are other um, oh, other blessings in a backpacks. All um, over the country. All over the country. So share this. Um, and I, I highly recommend you guys sharing this. This live feed, um, if I get 2,000 shares, I will make sure that one child is um, taken care of for next year. I've already done that as well this past weekend. We did the Kindness Revolution. Yes, yes, and yes. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do it every time. I, instead of giving a ton of free stuff away, I'd rather give back to the kids that need it. Don't you agree? Uh -oh. Like. This is great, you guys. This is something that you should be sharing within your family, your friends, your community. And, and just... The only way people are going to be aware of it that's is right. by spreading the word. And, and, and that's it. And that's really what I spend my time doing is throwing all these stones in the water, like with you. Yes. And they ripple out. Yep. They ripple out. And the more people that know about this, because like I said, three and a half years ago, um, I... You know, I, I called up Frederick County Public Schools and I said, so, you know, tell me what, what's happening there. And they, at that time, there were 10,000 children. Oh, my gosh. And now there are over 11,000. So anybody wow. that tells you it's getting better... Not it's so not, much. It's not so much. Not so much. But you guys are making a big difference, and I thank you so much oh, for coming coming to my home today, telling me a little bit about it, sharing it with the community. This is great. And this is how it's going to get out there. You guys are going to share this. You're gonna you're gonna make videos like this yourself. Share what sharing is caring. That's what I'm gonna say. That's right. And, sharing and is caring. Reach out. You know, reach out to me and message me. I'll send you any information you need. And uh, I mean, we'd be wonderful. You know, because. We say that it only ta it you know it takes a village to raise a child, and so we need more, more, more villagers. That's so right. We're we're asking for villagers, That's lots right. of volunteers. So we love you guys. Thank you so much Thank for tuning you. in. Share this if you if you care about children's hunger. That's right. That's right. All right. Love you guys. Thank you.